Hey, good evening, everyone. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm great, and you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How was your day? Uh, in a rainy, a very rainy day, Nate. <laughs> The weather is uh, a little bit weird. Yeah, 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 right. A little hot in the day, raining in the afternoon. Yeah, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And do you work in an office or do you work outside? In my personal case, I'm I'm in the at the office. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That way you don't have to worry about the rain, right? Only uh, only maybe to go from the, the car or the bus stop to the to the couch or to the business, then you have a lot of you have to be careful with the rain. Yeah, at least I I I get he, I got here uh, before the the rain starts. Okay, that's good. That's good. Jonathan, how about you? How was your day? Hey, good evening, everybody. Well, uh, a little bit busy. Yesterday, I missed. I missed the class. Sorry, I I was working in the aduana uh, from the airport. Uh, bring brought us some some kind of jewelry. Uh, like in contrabando, I don't know how to say that. Contraband. Ultraband. Well, uh -huh. uh, so uh, it was an order from the Fiscalia, so uh, we had to hurry to get uh, this jewelry analyzed. So that's why I, I, I missed the class yesterday. I, I went out to work about nine or nine p.m. almost. Wow! So I, I I couldn't be on time. No, no, no. It's very no, late. No, you no. had to work a lot. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, sorry, but it it happens. It happens. It, it no was problem. not in my hands. No problem, Jonathan. But okay, it's important that you know that tomorrow we have presentations. We, okay. Week last week we mentioned. Um, yesterday we practiced. Remember tomorrow, you have to prepare a presentation of a story, a typical story. It can be from El Salvador or another country. For example, La Ciguanaba, El Cipetillo. It can be uh, Cinderella. It can be The Three Little Pigs. The important is that it's a story that you can tell. Oh, okay. Hey, it's, it's talk, just talking. Yes, talking, talking, talking. You need to, oh, okay. You need to prepare your presentation for two minutes. So you have the, oh. I'm going to speak for two minutes. Okay. Okay. The, the idea is try to have the story long. No, uh, three pigs, one wolf, wolf, the pigs, the end. No, I mean, <laughs> that's the idea. Oh, okay. So, well, I will think about it. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yesterday we practiced in class. Uh, today we're going to practice again. So you have an idea and tomorrow you're going to present. Okay, no problem. No okay. problem. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. No. Hello. Dennis? Good evening. Yes, Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Dennis. Good evening. I see you. <laughs> you have the microphone like here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, you. How are you? Yes, I am trying to fix it. No, no, we can hear you. I can hear you. No problem. It's okay. Okay. Yes, yes, yes it's Excellent. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, in the last class, uh, in the last two classes, I had problems with my microphone, but right now I, it's okay. Yes, right now it's okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. Only Thanks, I saw. Elizabeth, no problem. Only I saw Elizabeth playing with the phone, trying to find that. And, and move and like, I, bien. Like, I have to move and I have to <laughs> <hi> Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, uh, yesterday my 
uh, yeah. my older son was watching TV. I'm sorry. Ah, yeah. <laughs> ah no, no, no. It's not. It's, it's the house. In the house, the people yes. watch TV. The people, the people talk. Is this... <laughs> yeah. When I am in the class, uh, he always yeah. want to be here with me and. Uh, Okay. Of course, of course, it's normal for the kids. I know that. I know. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. No problem. It's, of course, it's normal. 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 No worry. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. And Elizabeth, do you find the correct mm -hmm. for the, your cell phone or 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 what? <laughs> no. Yes. Not Ah, but we can't hear you, Elizabeth. Speak again. Yeah. Now you can listen? Yes, now yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have problems with my computer. Wait, someone oh, use myself in this moment. <laughs> okay. Okay. But that looks okay. Yes, the important is that that uh, way you can talk with your partners. Okay. okay. Good. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get together with our partners, right? And we're going to take a moment and discuss about our day. The, the important is to describe your routine, okay? So what is your routine? Uh, do you wake up, take a shower? I, the idea is we want to use the first person and we want to use the present tense, right? Because we are describing the routine. As an example, I with my partners, I describe my day. Um, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning and I do my homework from the university. After I do my homework from the university, I get ready. I take a shower and I have breakfast. Then I make sure my children are ready for school. I wake them up and I prepare breakfast if they want to. Then I walk to my job and I begin my first English class at seven in the morning. I continue working until four o'clock. Then I go to my second job and I work from second job from four o'clock to eight o'clock. I finish my second job and then I go to my third job, which is from eight o'clock to 10 o'clock. Then I continue. I talk with my family for a little bit. I go to bed and I wake up again the next day at 430. More or less. That's what you're going to do with your partners. You're going to talk about your routines. If your partner has a question, they're going to ask you a question. If you see, my routine is one minute. It's more or less, less than one minute. And it's all the day. It's clear? Yes. Any, yes. Any questions? Any, hey, como se dice? Ah, eh, no, any questions? No, 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 hey, hey, hey. Not for now. Not for now, no, no. Como se dice, voy al gimnasio y después del gimnasio. No, hey, hey, this is the moment. Ask me now. Ask me now. Not yet. Not yet. Como se dice, diligencias. Ah, excellent question. Excellent question. Como todos dijeron, no questions, vaya, entonces saben la respuesta. Como se dice, diligencia. Evidencia. Diligencias. Ah, ¿cómo que no question? Acabo de hacer la question ahorita. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I put in the chat then to help you. If you don't know, the pronunciation is errands. Errands. One more time. Listen. E errands. And one R. Only pronounce one R. Errands. Errands. Okay. Marvin, what are errands? Diligencia. Excellent. That's good. That helps for Jose and Marcela who came in a little bit late. Okay. Ivania no hace que es, pero it's okay. <laughs> what about the others? Any other question? Any other words? No? Okay. Are you sure? How do you say the activities in the house? The cleaning, the cooking, the uh, uh, washing. Chores. Chores. 
House chores. House. Chores. Very good. Chores. Or household chores is the complete name. But chores is okay. Only with chores. Okay. We understand? Okay. Let's make our partners. Let's tell our partners. Exactly. Remember, with our partners, the idea is more or less one minute, ask questions, then the other partner, one minute and ask questions. And Nastina, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hey, hey, good evening, Ernestina. How are you? I'm doing good, and you? Fine, thank you. Good, good. There you go, Ernestina, excellent. Okay, perfect. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll develop skills in listening for details develop note-taking skills, listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three-and-a-half-meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they Okay. So sorry, Jonathan. Any questions? Any words? Tell me in private. <laughs> yes, Lydia? Uh, not each year, it's a, a few minutes. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Only a few minutes for your routines, right? Yeah. Okay. Any vocabulary, any words that you say, ay, no me acordé como decir esto, any words? Teacher, how do you say when you go for a run, maybe when you are doing exercise, but running? Running? Yeah. No, that's the correct verb. You that's correct, run running? That's the correct verb. You go running or oh, okay. if it's slow, you can say I you go jogging. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, and how do you say when you uh, use makeup on yourself? <laughs> put on. You put on makeup. I put on makeup. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Really? You use makeup? How do you say trapear? Yes. 
Ah, trapear. Anybody know how to say trapear? Mop the floor. the floor. Mop. That's right, mop. Ah, okay. Thank you. Remember, it's in the chat if you want to see how to spell it. Any other words? Okay. How do you say in English, I wear the mask? Is that correct? That is correct. You wear the mask. That, right here, right? Yes, yeah, right here. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Now what we're going to do is now we're going to go again with, our, with different partners. And now we want to focus in the third person. Do you remember the third person? Yes. 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 Okay. The third person is when we talk about routines is when we use the S. As an example, he goes, or the, the person's name, he goes for a run. He washes the dishes. He takes a shower. He drives to work. Now, we want to practice the third person. You are going to talk about your partner, okay? Remember, third person is obligation S. S for he or she. It's okay, or do you need an example? <clears throat> it's good? Uh, it's better with an example, I think. Jonathan. Tell me something. Okay. Tell me about your routine. My routine. Yes. Uh, I wake up at five a.m. I take a shower. Uh, after I take a shower, I get dressed. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Jonathan. I'm going to give the example with that. So okay. I listened to my partner before describe the routine. Now I describe to my new partner. My new partner is Lydia. So Lydia, I tell Lydia about Jonathan. Lydia, Jonathan wakes up at 5.30. He takes a shower. He prepares his breakfast. He eats with his family. This is the example. Now you are focusing the third person with S. It's okay? Yes. Excellent, we can do it. Okay, now let's practice with our new partners. Okay. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll develop skills in listening for details, develop note-taking skills, listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened.
Okay, guys, any questions? Anybody have anything that was difficult or they didn't know how to say? Only the time is to, is it's uh, enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Elizabeth, what did you say? Nothing. Okay. All right. No problem. So, yes. Remember, the idea is that we are practicing. This is for us to have. Now we're going to practice. The next activity is listening comprehension. We're going to listen to stories. We're going to listen to new stories. And you need to take notes. Okay? You're going to have three new stories. You need to take notes of what happened, where did it happen, okay? And a little bit more details. So... I'm going to share my screen. We're going to listen to the different news stories. Okay. And then you tell me about it. Different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place? When did it happen? And what actually happened? So, where did it happen? What happened? Okay. And when did it happen? You need three things from each story. Where, what, and when. When. Remember, when is for the time. When did it happen? Okay. Here we go. Let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three-and-a-half-meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, one more time. Yes, please. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Remember what happened, when did it happen, and where did it happen? What is the general information? What is the time or the day? And where is the location? Okay? Okay. Okay. Let's try one more time. Identify where did the story take place? When did it happen? And what actually happened? So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Okay, number one. Where did it happen? In Thailand. Thailand. Excellent. Excellent. Thailand. It happened in, on, in Thailand. When did it happen? On Sunday. On, Sunday. on Sunday. Perfect, perfect. Sunday. And what happened? It was on a snake attack. 
a three and a half meters snake. was oh, a strangled right. a man. Correct. It's a snake attack. A three. man was a, a man. Go ahead, please, please continue. Go ahead. It's okay. The, a man was attacked. Uh -huh. Snake inside. By a snake. a snake. A man was attacked by a snake. Good, good. Now, number two. Listen to story number two. <laughs> two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Okay. First, when did it happen? Friday. 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 Okay, on Friday. And where did it happen? Australia. 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 In Australia, excellent. Australia. And and then what happened? Uh, I, see a I, I hear some of the answers correct. Two girls disappeared. disappeared. Two teenage girls were lost from the yes, ship. Yes, they were lost on the ship, exactly. And then after they they were lost on the ship, what happened? They, they were found. Wake up. They fall Singapore. to Singapore. In Singapore they were found. Okay, okay. They were going to Singapore. They jumped off the ship. They swam in the water and then got the shore, got the shore and go back to Australia. They wake, uh, wait for several days. For several days, exactly. For 11 days, actually. Almost for 11 days. Okay, good. Now story number three. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay. What, uh, sorry, where did it happen? California. 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 Okay. California. Good. When did it happen? Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, from Tuesday. Good, Tuesday. And what happened? Two uh, police yes. were chasing uh, a river. Are chasing a thief. Okay, very good. We have the idea. The police were chasing a thief. Specifically a car thief, right? They were chasing a car thief. And then what happened when they were chasing the car thief? They have an Going accident. A the robber saved the, the police. Yes, they had an accident. And then the robber saved the police. Very good. Good, good, good. Any questions? No questions? No questions. Okay, great. Now we're going to continue with our topic, our grammar. Today's grammar is past perfect. Okay, the past perfect. Let's see. We have somebody in the chat. Let's see what they say. Sorry. Ah, sorry, Marvin. Sorry, Marvin. We can't hear you. Okay. It happens. It happens with the when it's raining. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is past perfect. When do we use and how do we use it? Let me explain a little bit before we watch the video. Okay. In the past perfect, do you see this picture here? Do you see the timeline, the past, the present, the future? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay. Okay. So the past perfect is for two activities. There are two activities in the past. 
okay? The past perfect, okay, is the activity in blue. The activity in blue. The past perfect is the first action. Okay. Hang on. Let me put in mute. Do me a favor, everyone, and put your microphone on mute so that everybody can hear and not hear the, the noise from the rain or other things. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay. So the past perfect is two actions. We normally use with two actions. The first action is the one in blue, and the second action is the X. The past perfect is always had and the verb in the past participle. Then the second action, okay, or the action that interrupts is the verb in the simple past, okay? You can change the order, but the important is if you use had and the verb in past participle, this is the first action, the action in blue. Excuse me, teacher, my interruption. Yes, Sergio. Uh, can we use um, has instead of had when we are talking about the third person? No, you cannot. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. All of the people, I, you, we, they, all the people is going to be used had, only had. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a small idea. Is the blue, is the past with past perfect with had and the verb in the past participle. And then the action that interrupts is the X. Let's watch a little bit of the video to get a good idea. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express an event that occurred before another event in the past. For example, I went to a party last weekend, but when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. I'll explain the structure in a little bit, but the most important thing to remember about this topic is how and when to use it. Therefore, I would like to spend a few minutes giving lots of examples. So if um, we write the example that I, I gave to you in uh, just a couple of seconds ago, um, I, let me write that down. I went to a party last weekend, but uh, when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. Okay, we think about okay, so let's look at this example. Which action happened first? Which is the first action? I went to the party or my friends had eaten all the food? Went to the party. Went to the party. Went to the party. Okay, thank you very much. Todos están incorrectos, but thank you very much. It's important. Because remember, the first action is the one that has had, had eaten all the food. The second action is the verb in past. It's not important the order. The grammar is going to be had is the first action. The simple past is going to be the second action, okay? So we can think of it like this. All right, so it, when you go to the party and there is no food, this means that before you went to the party, the friends ate all the food. Is that okay? Is that logical? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. That's the idea for this, okay? This is the X. I went to the party last weekend is the X in the conversation. The other part is the circle. The yellow, my friends had eaten all the food is the, sorry, is the circle. This, the yellow here, the circle is the first action. I went to the party last weekend is the second action. And we can change the sentence. We can change the order. Remember the important is the grammar. Had is the first action. Okay, so if you say is, hang on, we'll go, we'll listen a little bit here. So that's why this is really important. You need to know when to use this particular topic. And then my friends ate it. 
But that's not really what I want to express. What I really want to explain is that I went to the party and there was no more food left because something had happened before that. And that was the fact that my friends ate the food. Okay, so here we can see the difference and we can understand the difference of more. Here, the idea is first my friends eat the food or my friends ate the food, then I went to the party. But in the second sentence, I went to a party last weekend and my friends ate all the food is first I go to the party here, first I go to the party, and then here the X, and then my friends ate the food. But in the first sentence is reverse. My friends ate all the food, the blue circle, and then I went to the party last weekend, the X. Is that okay? Or are you confused? Uh, it's okay. I don't know, is it correct, for example, uh, I went to the bakery, but when I got there, someone had taken the last chocolate cake. It's okay. It's not necessary, the entire explanation, but it's okay. Only is necessary had. So, for example, some, oh, okay. oh. someone had taken the last chocolate cake. Taken. Had taken the last chocolate cake mm. when I went to the bakery. And we un when you use had and the past participle, we understand I ah, is the first action. No problem, Elizabeth, no problem. Okay. It's okay for anybody, for everybody else, or do you have a question? Okay. Let me give you another example. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There's a question. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Okay, good, good. We want to make sure it's clear. Okay, now here is another example. I didn't have any money because I had forgotten my wallet at home. Which action is first? I didn't have any money or I had forgotten my wallet at home. Which I had forgotten my wallet. I had forgotten my wallet. Hey, excellent, everyone. Very good job. Now do you understand? First is necessary, the blue circle is necessary, forget the wallet. Then, because you forgot the wallet, the X is the second action. You didn't have money. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. yes. All right, great. Let's watch another video, okay? About how to make positive and negative statements with the past perfect. Okay, now that we understand a little bit the idea. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to form past perfect statements. We'll learn the structure and practice. So let's get started. In our previous lesson, we learned about the past perfect. And it's always important to keep that in mind. So we use the past perfect to express an event that occurred before another event in the past. Uh, today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn about the structure. So let's get started. I would like to start by making positive statements. So the first thing that I would like to point out is uh, just the structure and then we'll see how that structure works. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so then you can see clearly. So in order to form the past perfect, we're gonna have a subject and then that is gonna be followed by an auxiliary. That happens to be hat, as you can see there, color in red. And then after that, we, uh, we're we gonna follow the past participle of the verb. So we're gonna include the past participle of the verb. And then finally, we will have a complement to that sentence. In the example, we see that we're using the past event and the past perfect event. And that's because we're combining two tenses together and we're using those accordingly. 
So as you can see, we, we see the past event here, and then we have the past perfect event as a continuation. Okay. For me, he talks a lot. It's easier if we just look at the examples, okay? We follow the structure, okay? And there we have a positive sentence, okay? We use the subject, someone, or you can change for he or she or whatever you want. We use had and the verb in past participle. The verb in present is steal. The verb in past participle is stolen, okay? Someone had stolen, and then I need the complement. The complement is my wallet. This means someone had stolen my wallet. This is the first action, the first action. Let's see what happens in the next part, okay? Then we have, I had put my stuff in my locker, okay? So you put the things in the locker, right? The same, the same grammar, subject, I, had, past participle, put, and the complement, okay? Now, why did they steal it? Okay, because before they put the stuff in the locker, okay, you forgot to lock the locker, okay? So the same, the same subject. Subject, I, had, and the past participle forgotten. So if we understand, we can go back in order. This is the action in the past. Here, this action happened before this. Here, this, this I had forgotten to lock the locker happened before this one. And you can continue with others. Is this okay? And those are irregular verbs. Yes, these are here. We have irregular verbs, but you can use regular verbs also. Ah, okay. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. are confusing because you say that we need, we must to use the past participle. Correct. We the talk because our irregular verbs, but you say that we can use regular verbs as well, like this. That's time. right. Remember that Play. regular verbs is the same. The regular verbs is the same past and the past participle. So regular verbs, you don't change. It's only it's the same past and past participle. Only irregular verbs change. Okay. Now let's look at negative. Negative is the same structure, but no had we use hadn't, okay? So the same structure, but now with hadn't. So as an example here, I'll make it a little bit better, is I hadn't locked my locker. You didn't do this action in the past. Or here, let me go a little bit more, okay? I hadn't finished my work, so I couldn't leave work at that time. So it's time for me to leave my job, but it's not possible because before I leave, I hadn't finished my work. I didn't finish my work before. That's what we are saying, that I didn't finish my work before it's time for me to leave. Is that part okay? Yeah. Okay. Now I want us to look this structure. For example, we see that we're using the path. Okay, let's look here because these are where the examples came from. You see, I was working out. Working out is like in the gym, like Big Fit or an, another Gold's gym. You are going to the gym. But before the working out, you put their stuff in the locker, right? You return to the locker. But before you return to the locker, someone stole your wallet. Someone had stolen your wallet. Ah. Why is it possible for them to steal the wallet? Because before they steal the wallet, before they stole the wallet, they were able to steal it because you had forgotten to lock the locker. This is how is the past perfect to talk about action before, before, before.
It's okay? Yes. Yes. You think yes? Okay. If you think, I think. Okay, good. Then in this moment, please put two examples in the chat. One positive and one negative. Two examples, one positive and one negative in the chat with the past perfect. Remember the grammar, subject, had or hadn't, verb in past participle and the complement. Okay, good, Lydia. I had eaten very late. Good. That, that's where we're getting to, okay? Jose, I think you're missing the word. He had a 10. I had eaten my favorite food. Good, I had broken the wood, the window, good. I had reserved the table in the restaurant. When I got there, someone had used it. With D, I remember, someone had used it in the past. I came to my house when I had seen a beautiful girl. Ah, okay. Ernesto, ¿viste a la niña antes de llegar a la casa o después de llegar a la casa? Cuando casi llegaba. <risa> ah, entonces no puedes usar had, porque had es que la vistes antes de llegar a la casa. Acordate. Ok. Que... Uh -huh. Thanks. You're welcome. That's the idea. Had is for before. I've written my spooky story. I had not. Ok. I had finished my house chores. She had played with my heart. Ok. I... I have forgotten my USB at the office. I had learned a lot of things in my English class, my day. I hadn't done my homework. I had finished my homework. Very good. Muy bien con had or and hadn't. Pero acuérdense que son para dos acciones. Entonces tienen que poner el complemento de esas oraciones. So for example, I had finished my homework. Esto lo hicieron antes de Okay, or I hadn't done my homework. Lo hicieron antes de what? I hadn't done my homework before the exam. Ah, then it's, then you understand two actions in the past. One, not do the homework, and the other is the exam. Good, Ivania. You cooked the lunch before the English class. We understand. Okay, and remember, you can change the order. Before my English class, I had cooked my lunch. Because the grammar, we understand that had is the first action. So, so, any questions? Remember, Ernesto, with ED, if it's regular verb. So, is I hadn't washed. Because it's past participles. I have a question. Yes. Is it correct use never? Um, for example, I have never seen a movie, for example. Your sentence is correct, but you don't you didn't use had. Uh, only never. No, no, no. In, repeat your sentence. I have never seen a movie. Okay. Okay. The sentence is correct, but you need the second action. 
Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. I had never seen a movie before going to uh, cinema, before having a girlfriend. So this you don't do before the other action. Okay. Thank you. Okay, good, Dennis. Very good, Jonathan. Okay. So I, so in Jonathan's example, it's easy to understand. You had seen the lesson. Ah, so first see the lesson, then do the exercise. You see, that's the easy way to understand because you had is the first action, and then the verb in past is the second action. Okay, it is a little bit. Let me check. It is. ¿Qué pasó primero? Estabas jugando fútbol. Yes. ¿O escuchaste el accidente? Uh, I don't know, but the idea is that I was playing in the, that place, and then I heard the accident. So oh, the okay. accident, el accidente fue después de jugar. Yes. And then it's not correct, porque had is la primera acción. So remember, it's going to be, I played soccer when I heard the accident. I had played soccer. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Jose Perez, first you did the exercise or first you did the lesson? First, I did the exercise. I am confused because I want, I want to do switch right because the, the the first one is i have stolen i need right something like before i did something like that mm -hmm. the other thing right but if i can do vice versa i do a switch okay no no that, that, it's okay but the yeah. is that we understand the difference of the order. So, for example, in your sentence, before I did the exercise, I had seen the lesson. What is first? What is first? The exercise I had or the lesson? The lesson. The lesson. Yes. Then it's correct, Jose. That is correct because the had is the first action and the verb in past is the second action. Well, where, how we can do the change? You say that we can do change. Put before, before, right? Before I did yes. it, after I, I was trying to do that. You can change. It's the same. I had seen. I had seen the lesson. Okay, before I did the exercise. Okay, I know. Okay, so the two forms are correct. Before I did the exercise, I had seen the lesson, or I had seen the lesson before I did the exercise. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Correct, Sergio, that is correct. Because you answered wrong first, and then you noticed the mistake. Mm, wait, there was one, somebody put for the alarm. I don't know who put the alarm. I, uh, let me see. There's one, okay, Jonathan, that one is, that one is not correct. When, why is not correct? What happened first? Do you sleep or you hear the alarm? Hear the alarm. First hear the alarm so, and then go to sleep. Uh -huh. Then, then uh, I heard the alarm, then I fall asleep. <laughs> no, I fall asleep, then I heard the alarm. Exactly, That's exactly. That's why it's not uh -huh. 
because it's not in logical the order. I know. Uh -huh. First, I had. I know. Okay, good, good. You got it. Perfect, perfect. Okay, guys. Same. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay, good. I think now everybody has the idea, has the correct idea. Excellent. Okay, I hadn't seen the movie with my new glass. Good, Ernesto. Remember, glass is vaso. Glasses, ES, glasses, anteojos. Glasses. Good idea. Okay, great. Now we can continue because we understand the past. Perfect. I, I like it. I like it. Okay. Now we're going to see how to make the questions in the past perfect. This last part for today is how to make the questions. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to form questions using the past perfect tense. So let's get started. I would like to start off by presenting the formula, if you will, in order to form past perfect questions. So let me include the formula now to this document, and then I'm going to write a couple of questions, and then we're going to try to make sense of those two questions there. So let me start off by having a yes or no question, and then we're going to try to make sense of this particular question, of course, following this formula that we see here. So first of all, um, if we have a yes and no question, I will start by using hath, that's the auxiliary verb, all right? And I'm going to go ahead and color that real fast just to make sure that we are understanding this particular topic. I think I'm using green color there. Yeah. And then um, this follows the subject. In this case, this happens to be you. So let me put a little blue color there. Uh, then uh, we will use the past participle of the verb that we're using. So in this case, it's the verb study. Okay, there we go. Um, and then we have a complement. So that uh, in black, you see that that's the complement of this particular question. So the question is, had you studied English before taking this class? Right? Um, and um, that's how we form a yes or no question. Uh, let me write. OK, so pretty easy. The idea is only we change the subject and the auxiliary to make the question. The, the other is the same. Verb past participle complement. Only we change the the difference from the sentence, and the question is change the position. In the question, had you studied English before taking the class? In the sentence, you had studied English before taking the class. It's okay how to make the question. Yes, teacher. Okay. Now we have WH. WH means the answer is not going to be yes or no. It means the answer is going to be a, an explanation. Okay. So the explanation we can have, for example, where, where had you studied English before taking this class? Ah, that means the location. Now the, my partner is not going to say yes or no. It's going to say, for example, I had studied English at, a, I don't know, at Insafor, at Inglés Corporativo, or whatever, before taking this class. Okay? That's how we're going to have with WH. For example, here, where had you studied okay, before taking the class? You see the WH? If you have WH, it's before had. It's okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Any questions? Yes. There's a question. Let me see. Sergio, did you have a question? Uh, no, teacher. It's, it's clear, right? No. Yeah, it's clear. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Aha, I like it. I like it. Okay. Very the good. The thing is that we, we have to practice. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We need to practice. We need to practice. Okay. Now, remember tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Wednesday, but it's not normal Wednesday. Tomorrow is what's special for tomorrow? Homework. <laughs> what, what homework it is? 
Thank you. What homework is special tomorrow? Excellent. <laughs> yeah, any story, any story, but it's oral evaluation. Mm -hmm. The horrible yes. story. Yes, I'll say, if you want horrible, horrible stories. If you want scary, if you want exciting, the important is that you speak. How much time? How much time is the presentation? Three minutes. Three minutes, three minutes maximum. Three minutes. Yes. Yeah, three minutes maximum. That's right, three minutes maximum. So two minutes is good, but not, not, it is not necessary to go more than three minutes, okay? It's less than three minutes. Two minutes is good, okay? Everybody prepare for tomorrow. Avocado Nungo, okay. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great night, I hope the class was good for you and you learned, and I see you tomorrow with your presentations. Okay. okay. Thank you. Have a good night. <laughs> Bye. 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 Good night. Good night.